previously on raft. I extended my raft as I needed more room. Also, I did show it off to you guys. After preparing for a while, I jumped onto the island to fight. I took down the big bird, two boars, and I did so by using my newly crafted bow. After that, I went back, I did all the researching that I had to, to be able to get my own llama. When all of that was done, we said goodbye to the island, and we set sail once again towards Vasagatan. Alright, my name is Fisk. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I think we are ready to take on Vasagatan. How about that? It's a little bit different what I actually thought it would be. I mean, I was talking about maybe houses and a street. That's I don't know what I was on about in Stockholm. But yeah, it seems like uh, it was a huge boat all along, which I will assume is named Vasagatan. Before we go there, though, I want to thank every one of you. How's it going today, Bruce? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a, a good day. Um, what I was trying to say... Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't do it. All right, we're fine. Before we go, I want to say thank you for the support on this series so far. It's been a lot of you guys that's super interested in this and a lot of you actually jumping into game once again or actually for the first time thanks to me. That's uh, the feedback that I've gotten. And uh, let me tell you, being the the spark for some of you guys, it's it means a lot to me. Because at the end of the day, I'm just a guy who's playing video games and being fortunate enough to actually enjoy some of you and of course if you're one of those who enjoy this series i would recommend my green hell series that we're actually getting back to after a little bit of a hiatus of one month we are 24 episodes deep the first uh, story mode i'm doing myself but the second part which is the dlcs i'm doing together with fooster it's it's a goddamn hoot it's what it is so if you're enjoying this i'm sure you're gonna enjoy that but enough talking Oh, yeah, I haven't forgot. We do have a name for it, but I'm going to hold you guys until the end of the video to uh, actually know what it's named. It's great. Let's uh, let's get closer to Vasagatan. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you sad, dude? Oh, no. The llama is sad. And something that I've been on about for a little while right here is actually to expand the raft a little bit more and make it... Um, well... Eat proof, I guess, so bite proof from Bruce. So he can't use the raft as a chewing toy no more. But that's going to be something for the next episode. As I said, right now, we're going to Vasagatan. We're going to scan the whole perimeter around it. And we're going to be jumping up and we're going to check out the whole boat. I've been super excited about this ever since we stopped the last episode. Oh my god, I'm. <laughs> I just chugged a big cup of coffee. <laughs> You might hear it on my voice and also the way I'm just running around here. You know what? We're going to use this energy and we're just going to jump in and we're going to swim to shore. Uh, we have everything. We have the, a new bow. We have a spear and we have a bunch of arrows. We have some food. You know what? Let's bring some more food right here. That should be more than enough. All right. Let's do this. Yep. Come on, Bruce. What are you doing? What? Dude, holy shite. Look at this. This is way, way bigger than what it looked like from over there. Jesus. That is really goddamn cool. I'm super excited to get on top of that. Um... But as I said, we're just going to scan the entirety of the uh, the ocean around the boat. Maybe we can actually find a way in uh, from a hole or something like that. Let's get a little bit of looting. I'm getting a bunch of stone as well because I think it's going to become a more necessity. More of a necessity. That might be what you're saying. As we're trying to get more arrows. I wonder if we can actually climb that. 
The flags, you think? Nah, it looks like we can't do that. Let's get around this way. I wonder if this is actually going to be tied to the radio tower in, uh, in some way. I, I mean, I wouldn't see how, but I guess we're going to... We're going to be able to figure that out as soon as we get on. I'm just really excited. Oh, I wonder if we... Let's see. Yep. Okay, so we can actually get up this way. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. It's so big. Don't you dare, guys. Don't you dare. Ooh, can I get down here? Okay. There's nothing down here. I was a little bit... <laughs> Claustrophobic right there. I, I remember us uh, talking about the whole diving in caves before, and uh, damn. Yeah, that, that got my whole body to, uh, what do you say, crease up. Oh, watermelons. I was about to say that it's it's really good to have the melons with us, I think, as uh, we're probably going to be spending a lot of time on the boat, and we both need something in our belly. We do have that, but also for the moisture that we need inside our belly. Wait. Pick up mechanical part. Oh, that's something new, ain't it? Yeah, that was a giant clam, but I actually think it was the part that I saw. Alright, it's night time. I think we should be fine. Let's see if we can get up this way as well. I mean, we could get up in the front, but... If we can get up here, yep. Yeah, it seems like it. We don't have to go all the way around, right? Whoop! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, we have the entrance right here. Authorized personnel only. What is this called? This is just like a bridge, right? Where you can uh, get on board of uh, like smaller boats. I don't know anything about boats, dude. I, I'm just making shit up. Ooh. Well, this turned really, really quiet and super dark as well. Oh, I don't like this. Maybe we should have gotten that headlamp. You know what? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, we're going to go back. We're going to get that headlamp. I think that's a brilliant idea as uh, as we haven't used that really. So we're going to go back. We're gonna. I think we need a battery. Uh, that's all we need. So we're going to get that. Get the raft a little bit closer. And then we're going to jump in again. Let's see if we can make it to the raft without becoming shark food. This is gross. This is something that I fear so, so much. We're almost there. Where the hell is Bruce? Oh, he's coming. I can feel him. He's coming. He's coming. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's see. We could empty our... Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I actually put him up. God damn it. I actually put him up here. Uh, when I was in here just getting ready for this uh, episode, I actually killed him. Oop, oop. And uh, I haven't learned how to make a circuit board yet. Okay, we have the goo. We got ingot and plastic. Copper. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Get circuit board. There we go. And then we're going to make a battery. We need the scraps. Oh, I really do need the more scraps for sure. And then we need... Rope and scraps. Oh, I just put that in. There we go. And rope. Headlamp. Wait. Leather. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. I don't want the body armor. I think we've been doing pretty good without armor so far against uh, Brucey Boy. Wool. So soft and leather. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. The llama is actually able to give us wool, right? No. Um. All right, let's see. Can I... All right, can I cut you? No, that actually worked! So we do get wool from this. Look at that! Look at the llama! <laughs> and also, Fooser has been hassling me that I need to get a llama called Barack Llama. So to piece him, the next llama is going to na be named for him. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just have to do it. He's been in my DMs and he's been screaming at me, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. There we go. The wool. 
and then we're gonna do the leather as well and now we can learn the armor all of that and also a backpack i really do want to get the backpack but if we need wool to actually make that i don't know if we're able to but let's check this backpack we do need six wool we need a lot of llamas i don't know if this is a male or a female but we need another one to make babies i guess is that actually a possibility that the llamas can have a baby no yeah it is right i've just been assuming all this time let's get this anchor up sail a little bit closer god damn it this coffee just made me super hyper didn't it <laughs> you know what we're blowing the wrong way i can't be bothered let's just drop that and then swim over Whoop. now it's actually daytime as well we're gonna see if i need that headlamp i might not need it to be honest Whoop. all right a snack let's see how this is gonna go Oh, yeah, I think we're going to be using that. Let's put that on. You know what? I'm going to get my spear out here. We never know what's down here. We haven't seen really anything hostile outside the water. I mean, on the islands. So I'm not too worried, to be honest. Um, we got a note. Let's see here. I kind of want to... Oh, I can use that. Let's get all the scrap... Wait, crowbar? Oh, sweet recorder wait wait what am i getting here wait do you hear that what the fuck is that oh no that sounded like something huge all right let's listen to this note I heard from the captain. We're heading for one of the high rises down south. Hanna. I can only hope you come to your senses and follow us. You knew the city was a failure, Ruben. Ruben. Why do you always have to be so stubborn? Ruben. Stubborn. All right. So we had Hanna and Ruben. That's actually sounded more Norwegian to me than Swedish. Hmm. The Norwegians are in on Swedish waters. I see, I see. All right, that didn't work, did it? Well, at least I tried. Use one crowbar. Okay, so I take this one. It's locked. Can I pick it up again? What the hell is that? Is that in here? Jesus! What the fuck was that? Where did he go, big boy? Wait, there he is. Wait, is that a big rat? Do you see the tail? It's just one, right? I think that was the one that attacked us. Let's see if we can get him. Run, one hit, run! Dude, he's... Oh! Oh, 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 that is so gross. Raw meat. Do I really want to eat that? That was some Chernobyl looking shite, that. Some mutations. Holy shite. A bolt cutter. All right, I guess we're going to find that as well because we didn't have any bolt cutters out here. I think we should just get that crowbar and just keep that. I think that would be a great idea. All right, we can't find anything here. Damn. What is that? What did they feed these rats? Yoink. All right, a bunch of food at least. Anything else? No. All right, let's scan this room and then move on. I'm a little bit worried now. What we're actually gonna... What are we gonna find? Yoink. Yoink. By the looks of it, this place held a lot of people. It's gotta be the crew, like the crew's quarters, right? There we go. No notes over there. What about over here? Nothing. All right. I think we're done. So at least we know that takes three arrows, but they do leap stairs. A blue key. All right. You know what? Blue key and bolt cutters. 
Gonna write that down. Let's move on. Jesus. I thought this would be a walk in the park. Bathroom. Wait. I swear there's gonna be a rat in here somewhere. It looks like it won't be that easy as I thought it would be. Or right, I can't open these, so I think we might actually be safe in here. Ooh. Pick up red key. Okay, so we got the red key. What's that? Oh, that's just shampoo. There's like a guy's shampoo. You can actually <laughs> use it for car wash as well. <laughs> All in one. I love that. Stairs, yep. Yeah. All right. That's going to lead us up. I feel like if we were to enter from the... All right, we can hear them. If we were supposed to enter from the uh, the front, it feels like we would actually have been uh, a little bit ahead. Maybe we don't have to use the stairs, but we're going to we're going to take one step at a time. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Gas tank. We got a note as well. We're going to wait with that until we looted everything here and we're going to listen to it. Ruben. The yacht is ill-prepared for this journey. Olof left space for a dance floor. Olof? space for supplies. The bottles sure found their way to the bar. As a military man, I thought Olof would at the very least be practical. Yet they're all treating it like a luxury cruise. I'm sorry, Ruben. I shouldn't have left. That's, that's gotta be Norwegian. That's a Norwegian accent, that. No way that's Swedish. And the name Ruben and Hanne. I think Hanna is the Norwegian equivalent to Hanna. Uh, red key. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had that. There's got to be a rat in here, right? Ooh, machine part. Another one. Or mechanical part, that is. I wonder what we're going to do with that. Obviously, we need them for something. If there is any Norwegians watching, I know we have a bunch of Swedish peeps, but uh, can you just correct me if I'm wrong on those that name thing? Okay, we have the bolt cutters. What the... Wait, are they in the wall? Vo walls? Requires... Oh, five mechanical parts. Is this what we uh, are building? What is that? That's like one of those uh, jack things, right? You uh, get your car up with. And require one electrical wire, light, gas tank, and bullet. What is going on here? What are we doing? Alright, let's get that bolt cutters. Now we can go back to the locker. And we're going to listen to this. I'm getting a, <laughs> a little bit stressed right here, to be honest. Nervingly large. I tried telling the crew we obviously have an infestation among the lockdown supplies. They laughed at me. I miss you, Ruben. <laughs> the way you just paused right there. It's like, am I done? <laughs> I miss you, Ruben. <laughs> All right, okay, let's get back. So they had these rats before. Maybe that's why there are no more people here. Those rats just ate everyone. And uh, they ended up just getting stranded because there was no one steering the ship. That is goddamn dark, though. Interesting. All right, we have this here. Bolt cutters. The blue key. So that will lead us up the stairs now, right? In another note. I read it again. He will be reprimanded. The crew doesn't listen to orders. <laughs> I'm shocked by their undisciplined nature. Somehow they believe rank and prestige disappeared with solid land. No, they will not be allowed to mingle among my esteemed guests, and they will certainly <laughs> not down, be allowed off. further rations. <laughs> they should be grateful. I am the only reason they are alive. All right, angry military boy Olaf. <laughs> that is hands down Norwegian. You can hear it on the ew, ew. You can hear that. No way that's Swedish. You don't have to correct me, everyone. <laughs> that is Norwegian. All right, let's get up. Is this where he's wandering about? I 
think we're gonna start from the back to the front. I'm just trying to... I'm just afraid that he's gonna jump me. It's gotta be one more level above. It sounds like it's a really heavy set feller, that. Um, use. Okay, so this leads back. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Maybe we can see him from up here. DJ booth. Mechanical part. Oh, there we have him. That's him. Wait, bullets? Yoink. We needed that, right? As I've suspected, the crew is completely incompetent. Now they're claiming rats have eaten half of our supplies in a matter of weeks. <laughs> oh, look, you need to I listen. Increased rations if they could bring me one of these ridiculous lurkers alive. Lurkers? Of course, the food shortage will need to be handled. Tonight, we're discussing which staff members are most suitable for termination. Termination? What are you talking about? Oh, another one. So, termination. So, are they just killing off the staff now? Just because of the rations? Too many bellies to feed, maybe? That's dark, yeah. Imagine. This is goddamn cool, though. Look at this. Very pretty. Super pretty. So I guess uh, the name of these rats are Lurkers. And uh, I don't know why he would say that, oh, we need this Lurker alive. Why, though? Why not kill the Lurker and give it to him? It's so unnecessary. The light is almost out. Uh, maybe we're just going to have to make do. Okay, we can get up there. And we just have to make do without the light, if possible. Or we just wait for the, uh, the daylight. Yoink. Bathroom. Looks like a nicer room. Do you think this would be the captain's? No notes. Right, nothing here. There's a little more to this than the old station. So if they ramp up with every place you go to. Oh no, they got the mustache and the glasses on this beautiful piece of art. Holy goons. Goddamn holy goons. Yeah, if they ramp up with it. Okay, there we go. It's dark. With every place that we go to. I wonder what we have in front of us. Ooh, what's that? Can I... I kind of want to destroy that. You see that cat? Yeah, dude. I don't want to go here without light, to be honest. It's horrible. Two. We need to go to... Oh, I saw a safe right there. We can still check these rooms out. And this one as well. Jesus. All right, you know what? Let's try to find our way out here. I think we, 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 we're we going to craft ourselves a uh, another light. Because I can't see nothing. And I think those rooms were storage as well. Whoop! Ooh, clam. Blech. Sloop! Another headlamp. Let's get back. Here. Well, well, we meet again. Let's actually see if we can do this. Ah, there we go. Yep, that brought us to the correct deck. The sun should be up any moment now. The, the moon is going down. So let's get to where we were. Two more rooms to get through down here. It looks like we had a code lock on this back here, right? No, no, no. We could actually get into that. Oh, it's not code locks. I'm such an idiot. It's just normal, uh, normal knobs or whatever. What does that mean? You can't just fire them. We're out at sea. Hannah, you were brought to keep the engines running. That is what you. Oh. That's one of those damn rats. What? What are you doing to it? Get out! What are you doing? Do your job. Listen to Olaf. Hanne. Listen to him. Alright, we can't get in there. Yeah, that's... You can't fire them. We're out to sea. That's crazy. They took a, this took a little bit of a darker turn. Oh, no! no! Shit. 
Oh my lord, that scared the crap out of me, dude. Just lurking about in here. Four digit code. There's a lot of things that we need now. The bullet thing. Oh, it's just that and the code, ain't it? It's gotta be one of those in here as well, ain't it? At least we're getting a bunch of loot. Tentacle parts. I don't know how many of those we need. Was it five? I think we have four now, at least. I wonder what Olaf would say now when he sees I'm eating all of his goddamn rations. You whiny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna keep the headlamp on right here. Let's get a cocos nut. The word of the day. Some of you guys have been telling me it's like, oh, fish teaches more Swedish. I mean, cocos nut. You already know that. That's co coconut. Let's do raw meat right here then. Oh, you know what? Let's do um, the rats. So rat in Swedish is rotta. There you go. Swedish word of the day. How about that? Is, is it coming down? Good hits, good hits. Jesus. Look at those front teeth. Those are big ones. Yeah, we're gonna have to check the outside as well, aren't we? We still got stairs up this way. But as I said, one floor at a time. Each floor should be smaller and smaller now. Should be getting smaller and smaller, rather. Key card. Can get around this way. Alright, this is the front. We should check that now when we're actually on this floor as well. Another part? That should be all five then, eh? Another note. Oh, look at that! Zero, four, five, one. That's gonna lead to the vault then. Oh, you don't call that vault. These lurkers have potential. They were clearly lots of rats. Now grown into something much more rabid. How do? Yet also smarter. I've already made progress on their training. With food and pain as incentives, I can discipline them. Wait, he's training Sharing them? their blood, the mutations increase. I wonder if another species would react the same. Humans? I've received a transmission from a place called Caravan Town, not far from here. They have an active animal population. No longer do I need this makeshift crew. I will create true soldiers. Loyal soldiers. Dude, I'm 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 sad to say that Olof is goddamn losing it. So he's training these rats. Is he feeding the people to them then? Ooh, imagine. And also what is making is like what is making the rats so goddamn big then? Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's get down and check that safe. That's what you call it. There you go. Sometimes it takes a little while for the word to actually drop down into my head. Wait, it's not this one, no. It's this one back here. No, it's not this one. <laughs> right here. Oh my god! Dude, they respawn? What is that all about? Not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. I do have the four digit. Oh no, do I need to pick it up? Oh! Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Yoink. You still here? What? Dude, seriously, I was here like one minute ago. That is just insane. These rats be breeding like there was no tomorrow. Here you go. Electrical wires. Wilstrom, it's urgent. There's mist now. We don't know how far the water's risen. The maps are useless. We need to... The crew are planning a mutiny, Captain. It is time to act. Mutiny? They're just trying to stay alive. I... Are you mad? I gave you a chance to live. Now we have to protect ourselves from the masses. Oh. We will use the weapons to our advantage. Mm. Uh, isn't that a little bit stereotypical that the uh, 
the captain sounded really Irish. <laughs> I like that. But Ulof, yeah, he's clearly going crazy. Clearly. Loot. Key card. Wait, there was... Is that the door? The code lock down just down below? It might be that. Uh, that's the only thing I can think about. Oh, yeah. Do we have something back here? Wait, we have a note right there. How do we get in there? All right. Let's try to figure out how to get in there. There's no hole in the, the ceiling. What is that? Car jack. That's what they're called. All right. So we need the car jack for that. Uh, what do we have now? We checked all of this. Yes. Now we need to get up. We got the... Wait. Let's go and... Let's go down and check the key. Oh! God damn it! Every time! Uh. Down here, right? This one? Key card. There you go. Anything? The green key. All right. We haven't found a door where we need the green key just yet. It's a nice little... This has got to be... Yeah, this has got to be the captain's quarters. No? It feels like it. All right, let's get up again. We didn't need a key up here, did we? This is where we're going. Green key. Bathroom. Okay, we got a rat. Ooh, he go the big old jacuzzi. How about that? The big screen. The moist carpet. Living the life, dude. Ah, oh, here we go. A lighter. I don't know what we need that for. Oh, here we go. What's that all? Oh. Watch out! Oh. Wait, what? What did Olaf do? He must have fed them to the the rats, right? Olaf lived on his own right here. Is that it? One bomb. Is that what we needed for? Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, we had a gas canister. Oh, that just hit me. All right, we need to get down again real quick. Right here. Yeah, yeah, this should be it. We got the bomb. Oh, we got... Wait, the car jack as well. All right, so let's uh, go and check that first. I think that was on the third floor, right? Car jack. Whoop. This is going really smooth. I'm really surprised that I'm actually remembering all of this. There we go. That is used. Any more rats? No. Wrap and hinge cities in the blue. Cities in the blue. Calling the cost of the project's realization borderline criminal and its scope outrageous at least. Despite vocal opposition, the floating cities Ooh. project does not appear to be slowing down anytime soon. According to former General Olaf Wilkstrom's latest statement on the issue, we are fully aware of the strain this puts on our people. Nevertheless, our options are becoming increasingly limited. We must pull through this together or join Stockholm beneath the waves. Wilkstrom refused to comment on the rumors regarding mm. the modification of his personal yacht. When further asked about the Floating City Project's whistleblowers, Olaf Wilkstrom chose to terminate the interview. Reaching out to these anonymous sources, we were able to further corroborate his story. So, Olaf, he's... We know that he's not too stable, right? But the city in the blue. So, that would be a city that's still... That's still a thing, right? Above the surface. That's what it feels like to me. That's what, what it would be hinting towards, no? You see where I'm getting at? 
That is really interesting. Some Olaf. So Olaf would be uh, having something to do with that. Uh, okay, that's interesting. I like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was about to blow myself up. <laughs> All right. No rats. Okay, I'm happy about that. Use. Let's check the outside first. All right. Just loot. Dude, we have so much garbage right now. Head broth. Wait, that. Oh, that's the puffer fish. <laughs> no, that looks hilarious. Drink that. Uh, ooh. Strawberry. And a coconut. Let's eat that as well. Oh. Steering wheel br br blueprint. <laughs> Steering wheel blueprint. So now we've learned that, right? Let's see here. I think that's how it works. I don't know why I'm hes hesitating right now with the blueprint if I really, really, really do need it. That's actually making me a little bit annoyed. I don't think I need it in my inventory. I think we already learned this. No, wait, wait. Can be learned in a re... Oh, yeah. The blue. So the blueprint is unlocked, but it's just in the research table. There you go. For you that didn't know. Oh, a note. Balboa. Note added. Oh. Bal oh, so Balboa is the new place we're going to. Haven't they been talking about that? I want to remember... Didn't... The scientists from the radio tower talk about the B Balboa. Balboa Island. <sighs> I wonder if we're gonna know if any of them actually were able to go there. That is interesting. Another blueprint. You can now research an engine. I'm just gonna bring these blueprints with me just in case. I think that is all. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't checked the last part, right? A note. Okay, nothing. So we have a bunch of loot. We know the story of what happened with Vasagatan. Olaf went crazy. He trained these lurkers, which is crazy rats, more or less. Holy crap. I think we're pretty goddamn happy what we've been fighting out. The story about Vasagatan. I think it was a little bit more than I thought it would be. I like it. Whoop. Look at this in all its glory. It took a little while to actually get through. I liked it. That's really, really cool. As I said before, this just makes me even more excited to uh, what's actually to come. All right, I'm fully, fully, fully stacked with shite on me. Let's get over to the boat. Whoop! Here we go. Let's uh, empty that inventory, shall we? All right, Bruce. All right. Bitch. All right, so what do we need to unlock this? Okay, we already have everything. Learn and also an engine. So I guess we need to build out our raft a little bit. Allows you to go in different directions and increase your speed. All right, yeah, yeah. Hands down. Great. What do we need for that, though? Steering wheel. Hinge, rope, metal ingot. Okay, we do have stuff to make that. What about this? Metal ingot, rope, and circuit boards. It's the it's the copper that we need. We just need to find more. Ah, I think we actually have the ore. But for now, we're going to do this. Raise the anchor. We're going to go towards an island. Wait, don't tell me the nearest island would be two kilometers that way. That's insane. All right, let's turn that off. Let's uh, just set sail for this time. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. The uh, the uh, the name of the llama. I think a lot of you guys actually misunderstood me. I didn't want you to come up with a name for the llama. I wanted to make the llama, or I wanted to name the llama after you. And for this llama, some of you might already seen the tag. But look at this. That's the name. Mullet. That's the name of the llama, Mullet, after Mama Mullet, which is a long-time supporter of this channel. Thank you 
for that. So, for the next animal, obviously, I promised Fooster a llama called uh, Barakolama. But, uh, yeah, for the other animals, we're going to do the same thing with that. And I'm excited to see what we're going to get. I think what I am will be doing is to take this away and just build the raft out and just make one side of it. Oh, that's that. Just one side of it uh, filled with... Just make a small field with all the animals in it. Super happy. Look at that mullet. You know what? I think we need to cut a little bit of wool off uh, mullet right now. Here you go. And we're gonna get that backpack running as well. But yeah, I think this has been a hell of a productive day. A lot of loot. A lot of story. I hope you guys had a really good time joining me to uh, explore Vasagatan. If you did, don't forget to like the video. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. As we are trying to get 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So I think we're about, I think we're about 8,000 people away. And that's just insane. Thank you once again for the support. But for now... My name is Fisk. <laughs> Thank you for watching.